Hello, Flatter Pyrox is here, gonna play... What's this? The second one? Virtue's Last Reward. The notary game's not in the title, right? Zero Escape. Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward. Mm. That play name's correct. Who knows? We're gonna start. Time to start. This work of fiction. We wouldn't have known it was fiction if they didn't tell us. I thought it was a true story. Hi, Zero. <laughs> so now Zero kidnapped him by breaking into his car? Apparently. We're Sigma again, though. Oh, okay. I thought we were the fireman in the other one. The fireman? Yeah, we were the fireman in the third one. The fireman. I forget his name. He had the blonde hair. Weren't we Sigma? It depended on what area you went into for the third one. We were like three different groups. Ah, uh, the, yeah, the area we went into. And then Sigma, Phi, and the other person. Yeah, we were Sigma in that one. We were the kid in one, and then we were the guys in the first one. Another. Right. Okay. Elevator. Isn't that obvious? A different tack? It's a different tack. Just tack. T-A-C-T. of the death game that easily. I'm plenty friendly. I said I'm plenty Should friendly. I at least have a coin toss. Don't know. Sigma. No, you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... How the hell am I supposed to know? I just know it, okay? You are now the most suspicious person here already. I know you're the only person here. Shut up! Why are you so angry? Just back off, Grandpa! Look, I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, that's Sigma. My ears are ringing now. What do you think this thing is? This bracelet? See, you've got one too. They're pretty much identical. 
It was on already when I woke up. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. No. It's just got a three and the word pair. What are you doing? Good luck. I spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. It's on pretty tight. Doesn't even have a clasp or anything. I pressed him, but nothing happened. <laughs> Not even a beep. Hey, look! There's something on that screen over there. How are you feeling? I am Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom! What is that? We get to deal with a bunny. A bunny? Yep. Behold, Zero. Bunny Robin. <laughs> mm, a rat? I'm sure you've got lots of questions. It just seems silly to have a big old chit chat right now. So, I'm gonna give you a game to play! Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nunnery Game! <laughs> oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? go.
wrench with all the uh, play an escape where our guess will be set to hard. Set to hard? Yeah, right now it's set to hard, but we can set it to difficulty lower if we want. Lower difficulty is really just, it's still the same puzzle, but people will give you more hints. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe it's an old people. Can we get it off the wall? Okay, so let's put in file. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, see? Hard or easy? Slow! Look at that. What the hell? <laughs> They're all very long. Look at that. Well, at least this balance this time was not at all in one group. Yeah, at least one's not like way out there. People are uh, childs at children at heart. <laughs> and some people will argue that some other people are babies, no matter what the age. escaping and one person in a file. When you use the escape password, you'll get a key. When you open the hidden, the hidden file password in hard mode, you'll get a gold file. When you do the same in easy mode, you get a silver file. 
they can obtain supplementary facts and background information and give the novel text and got it that but not necessary. You must open escape with escape password. Failed! Failed. <laughs> we need to find a clue for that. to use one tip for each? Why does it matter? I don't know. Why does it matter Not what tip one. I give each one? That one. Is it this one? Awesome. Like it. Why does it matter which one? You're gonna have four anyway. Okay, so now we have different socket wrenches. I don't know what we need those for, I guess. Can we try messing with the baby one? So yeah, just hitting button randomly doesn't help. Huh. Oh, this is quite what we would have died. We <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me look it up. What are we doing wrong? Uh, turn to the right. What? Okay, can you look at the vent thing down there? Oh yeah. Oh, I can probably open that with the screws here. Yeah. Well, why does it matter what color I use? Oh. Also, we're just taking the bolts off and throwing these. We're done with them. Well, we're done with this. It's like in Resident Evil 2 when you had like the evidence of the raccoon city breakout. And he just discards it for, like a videotape. It's like, I don't need it anymore. You might want to stack them and then put them into the right one. I wanted to restart it, but it just... She put it away. <laughs> She's like, I'm done with that. Perfect. 
get one of the memory cards. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Darn it. What was those words again? Life will be infinitely better if we were born at 80 and slowly approached 18. Introduce myself. That fucking other password, right? I want to get special stuff. He gives you special. Yeah, I feel like you fucking skip. Hmm. I wish they told us that we can we can only use one password. You know, that would be nice. Their skip button actually fucking worked. Isn't that? 
Oh, the shiny button actually worked. Now I'm just annoyed. What else were we I'm supposed to get? Nothing. I s Nothing? That was it. Don't know. Sigma. What's the other code? Like no, you. It gives you an extra file know. for solving it on hard. How that? I just. Uh... Shut. Just look. It's you just like it. and. What do you think? Hard in the first place? This see there. Was I haven't. No, no it's this just. This actually got... worked. What are you doing? I spent a song doesn't even have a. I prep money. Hey, look, there's something. How I? A rat. I'm just. I'm getting. If you're gonna get yes, two I'm codes, at least let us use both of them, right? There's more. So, yeah. This is gonna. Yes, I'll see. Have a night. Oh, trippin'. I don't want to. Let's go. I don't need to know how to do it again. but I'm pretty sure they don't come packaged like that. Like, you don't get four screwdrivers that each only fit one screw. Yeah. such a different way that you can't use the same one. For some reason. I'm not sure why that's important. Still. Yeah, 
Now let's say Just closed it. Really? <laughs> Move it inside. Really? So we have the key now.
Your shoulders? Getting a space sandwich between the girl's thighs. Oh, okay. Fine. On your knees. <laughs> You're a little tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders. I'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb. So kneel. <laughs> Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. Quiet. Here we go. Jesus, she can jump. Right. She can fly. All right, give me your hand. Well, I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or Merman or a Wolfman. I'm not a Brahmin or a Common <laughs> or a hell? Brahmin. I'm not a caveman either, so, so you don't can really you need stop? to worry about I'm gonna die. My name is Fi. I guess you could say, I am no man. Just come on. One of these days, Witch King. doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. Yeah. It wasn't going to go anywhere. So it would seem. Forget it. Look. More people. Looks like an old guy, a young man. Two girls and Scooby Doo gang. <laughs> Fred's on the left, Daphne's on the right. Really? I don't know. You sir? They're all wearing bracelets. Probably safe to assume they're trapped here too. No, we don't. I haven't been out here much longer than you. No, bro. They grabbed you too, huh? I don't have anything other than that one circle. I think we all shared that particular experience. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. No! Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... That would be me. It's him, Dio! This little guy here is Quark. I don't know. Then you see the meme that's like, it's me, Dio. Nice to meet you, mister. Tenmyo, G, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
Now, you've got it right. Yep. Me. She's Luna. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. This guy's a walking meme already. Say that again. Sigma like dissing his daughter or something? No. Wait, maybe. I forget. Because Pi is his daughter, right? I don't know who Pi is the daughter of. Sigma and the other girl. And the third one? In the pot? That probably is him dissing his daughter. Think? Uh, hey, uh, see your bracelet there? Hmm. And yours. Phi, right? Now let me have a look. Uh, I thought so. Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. Yours too, ladies. Right. You figure it out then? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmyoji, Alice, and Luna were all solos, so... Hmm. Don't got the foggiest idea. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? Maybe it has something to do with the game. Yes, yes, yes! And I'm calling it the Nagari Game! Epidex Audition! If anything, for a flashback that you needed, this is it, I guess. <laughs> something about the elevator falling. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do you think we'd have done it last if there was? Well, give it a shot, why don't you? <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. I told you already. <sighs> Each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. Why would I lie? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found, anyway. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. I was the first to escape. That means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out, after all. Well... I was in the one-third from the right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes, that's the one. Dio and Quark were next. Wait a minute, that means that everyone who is alone has the highest puzzle-solving skill. Everyone who was in pairs came out afterwards. They sucked. Even with two people, they couldn't figure that shit out. It must be the worst, then. You came out of the elevator next to Luna. There's one group that's still in there. Oh. We're missing the green pair. Right? Yeah. We did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in... The third elevator from the left. Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Are you... are you saying there's still someone in there? I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look. Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Oh, the Nonori game Ambidex edition? So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonder. Maybe there's no one in there. <laughs> what makes you so sure? left out. <laughs> Clover! Are you okay? Clover! Wake up! What did you do to her? Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry, though. She should be all right. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. 
and she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? I'm begging your pardon, but I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? I'm... Hmm. Who am I? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, who I am, or even what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you shared that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. Please, how are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this... this... this robot suit? We can't even see your face! Are you gonna tell us someone forced you into that thing? I assume so? Seems the most reasonable explanation. And when I woke up, I was wearing this armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look? That's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? Yes, you know what I meant, you smart ass. <laughs> uh, oh. She's waking up. Clover, are you okay? Come on, talk to me! Uh, this... Where are we? Is that the same Clover from the first game? Yep. She looks even more ridiculous. Congratulations. What? No. No, that can't... When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose... when I was born. I don't remember anything of my life. <laughs> Assuming I had one. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like Language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. <laughs> Bad breakup? <laughs>
Didn't I tell you that? There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Hey, what do you think that is? That graffiti over there. See, on the wall? Oh, yes, that. I was wondering what that was. I think we have that on our memo. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. You heard me. It's an anagram. Yeah, they tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Watch. Hmm, exactly. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? You're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. Huh? Look! Over there! Shame on you, Fido! You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it! <laughs> I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. Although, things are starting to get exciting. <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? I guess God touched this one a little too hard. What? Weren't you listening to Fido? Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, 
a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent! <laughs> Are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> now, with that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. I mean, obviously. I don't even have a body. I'm just the facilitator for this facility. What I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? The game, of course! <laughs> Correct! It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No! It's supposed to be over. Is the nonary game? I don't know. Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number nine. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, or it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you. That's your door. If you can open the door with an eye on it, you can escape. What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. See the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to nine BP can pull that lever and the door will open. However, there are three rules you carrot forget. One. Stay open for nine seconds. When your time is up, it'll close automatically. So be careful. Two. The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close for good after nine seconds. So if you're not careful, you could get stuck. Three. Now, maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh ho. Oh. If my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door. And I'll just slip through when it's open. Well, that's not gonna happen. If you think you can be sneaky, well... <laughs> oh, my... No. I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big penalty. What the hell does that mean? Down in front! I'll tell you later. Um... Yes? Why did you start making... rabbit puns? <laughs> uh, well, um... Because <laughs> I felt like it? <laughs> I thought it might make me sound cute. You should say it's pun intentional.
thought it was going to be a rabbit cut. Never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just use the Ambidex room. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those, uh... Elevators? Gold Star! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. <laughs> no. I had a hunch you might try that, so I closed those up tight while you were talking. <laughs> so don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. How do we get in then? Try the doors on the front, they're all locked. There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. But where do we find those key cards? Well, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. Oh, oh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you'll find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. <laughs> right there! You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. Work. What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch? Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? <laughs> the two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No. Numbers are going down. It's going from ten minutes to nine. So that would mean this must be counting down to something, right? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding 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 ding! Very impressive, ten violi. There. person who hasn't talked to me. <laughs> I try to communicate with as many people as I can. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, answer my questions. <laughs> Do you know yeah, what the three that. primary colors are? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well... You mean red, green, and blue? You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? 
So which colors would you mix to get magenta? Red and blue. How about yellow? Green and red. I don't know. She's very unnatural. It's like she's posing at this point. I got to be asked to puzzle. I pose for this. I'm extremely terrified, so I'm gonna pose right now. What if you wanted science? Blue and green. That's right! Now, take another look at the nice bracelets you're all wearing. Notice how they come in three vibrant colors? Yeah, yeah. You get it already. The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? Wonderful! I think you grab it. talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yep. What do you think happens? How the hell would I know? If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. Hmm. I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. Blue and blue can open the yellow door. And green and green can open the magenta door. Right again! Looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet, Ten Mioli. Ah, just what the hell's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets, pairs and solos. That means there's two types of players, too. Pairs and solos. In this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity, which means they share the same destiny. like Sigma's red in a pair. What about you, Alas? It's red, and I'm a solo. Bio, or? Blue, pair. Yeah, mine's the same. Moody, Cleaver, Tamioli, all at once. I'm a blue solo. I'm a green pair. Green solo. I'm, uh, let's see. I suppose you can call me K. I knew it. You were just lying about that amnesia crap. I'm not lying. This was just a, how do I put it? A flash of insight, I suppose. I saw the letter K. So, what does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. Does it mean anything to you? 
<laughs> Come on now, boys. You can fight later. Now, uh, Kay? Can I call you that? Yes. I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. That's right. It says pear. And the text is green. Chromatic doors close. Oh, so sorry guys, but it looks like your time's up. You better hop to it and get those secondary doors open. Fuck that. We aren't gonna open shit. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. Well then you stay here forever. You never open the number. If you think door. we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up! Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. <laughs> Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If the door is left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Well... Death! Your bracelets contain two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. 
Your bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. First, is this over real? Which put you to sleep? Nine minutes later, the tubo purine is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say, it'll really take your breath away. You should know that the soporil is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. Mm -hmm, not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? <laughs> if I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Anyway, all it means is that you'll die pretty famously, so hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. <laughs> of course, none of that will happen if you just follow the rules. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys! See you all later! Have a nice trap! Dang, that was a long explanation and no puzzles. Oh, time to save. Save. Here's like a flow chart. We reached two, three things. Barely went anywhere. So I'm guessing we can get through down to here and then right before the next choice we have to stop in the next one. Hmm. All the endings are as long as the true ending of the last one. I'm guessing one of these two is the true ending. It's nice of them to tell us which one's the true ending in this, because you can tell which one's the longest. <laughs> <laughs> right? Mm, yeah. So I guess I'll blame for this one first, because it's the shortest. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like vines. Look at that. Well, we can't actually tell which one is which right now. Yeah. Okay. All right, we want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. Hope you have yourself a good day. We'll see you in the next one. Stay hoppy.